This episode of Paddle TV is brought to you by the ACA, improving the paddle sports experience for over a century. Learn more at AmericanCanoe.org. One of the great things about kayaking is that on a very simple level, you can just slip on a life jacket, grab a paddle, and start paddling around without any prior experience. But learning proper technique will let you paddle more effectively, comfortably, and safely. And so in this video, we're gonna look at three techniques in particular that all touring kayakers should practice and get comfortable with. Although getting into a kayak has its own challenges, the first thing any touring kayaker should know is how to get out of their kayak in case they flip and that's called a wet exit. To wet exit your kayak smoothly, the first thing you'll do is lean forward and find your spray skirt's rip cord with one hand, while your other hand keeps hold of your paddle. You'll then pull the rip cord to pop your skirt and then place both hands on your kayak by your hips to push yourself out of the boat. By staying forward while doing this, you'll end up doing a bit of a forward somersault out of the kayak. The trickiest part of the wet exit is staying forward and fighting the instinct to lean back as you slide out of your kayak. But the problem with leaning back when you slide out is that it raises your butt off the seat and pushes your thighs against the thigh hooks, which just makes it harder to slide out. Now that you know how to wet exit, the second touring kayak technique that all paddlers should know is how to re-enter your kayak from the water. Although there are self-rescue techniques that let you re-enter your kayak by yourself, it's a lot easier to re-enter a kayak with a friend there to help hold and stabilize your boat. And so this is what we're gonna look at. First off, you need to upright the capsized kayak, and the best way to do that is with the assisted bow tip out, which lets you drain the water at the same time that you upright the kayak. To do an assisted bow tip out, the rescuer should grab the bow of the capsized kayak with their own kayak perpendicular to it. The rescuer lifts the bow up and pulls it across their cockpit. The goal here is to dump as much water out as possible and quickly roll the kayak upright. Now that it's time to get back in, the rescuer's job is to stabilize the swimmer's kayak as they re-enter. And to do this, you'll position the empty kayak alongside yours and then with a good grip on it, commit your body weight to the empty boat. The best place to grab the boat is just forward of the cockpit facing the stern so that you see the swimmer re-enter. As the swimmer, you'll grab the cockpit rim of the kayak and let your legs float to the surface behind you. With a powerful kick of the legs and push with your arms, you'll haul your chest up and onto the stern of your kayak. Keeping low, you'll then turn towards the stern as you lift your legs into the cockpit. You can then slide back into the kayak while twisting around to your normal sitting position. As your rescuer continues to stabilize the kayak, you'll want to then pump any remaining water out and put your skirt back on. The third and final technique that all touring kayakers should know is the sweep stroke, because the sweep stroke is the easiest way to turn your kayak when sitting still or when you're in motion. The sweep stroke starts with your paddle blade in at the toes, fully immersed, and your hands kept as low as possible. Now, unlike the forward stroke, which draws the paddle alongside the kayak, the sweep stroke involves sweeping as wide an arcing path out to the side of the kayak as you can. To get the most power for the sweep stroke, sit upright in your kayak and watch your active blade throughout its arc, because this forces your upper body to rotate during the stroke, which gets all your core muscles involved. Now keep sweeping the blade on the arcing path and then before it hits your stern, you'll slice it out of the water and move to your next stroke. When moving from one stroke to the next, a great habit to get into is to sweep your blade forward, skimming across the water. And then if you lose your balance, your paddle's ready in a brace position. Now the reverse sweep is exactly what it sounds like, a forward sweep stroke done in reverse. For the reverse sweep stroke, Turn your upper body and look with your eyes as you plant your paddle as far back as you comfortably can near the stern of the kayak. With your blade planted deeply in the water, you'll then sweep a wide arc all the way out to the side of your kayak and up to your toes, keeping your hands low throughout the stroke. Now something that you might have noticed is that as I'm sweeping, I've got my kayak on edge. And the reason I'm doing that is because touring kayaks are designed to turn more efficiently when they're held on edge. In fact, the more you tilt a kayak on edge, the more effectively it will turn. Of course, the more unbalanced you're going to be as well, and so ease yourself into practicing sweeps with your kayak on edge. Well, there you have it, three techniques that all touring kayakers should know. 
I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please subscribe to our Paddle TV YouTube channel and stay tuned for lots more kayaking tips and tricks.